Welcome to the world according to Evan. Today we're going to be taking a look at the very popular Atmos Forge Plus kit. I'll put a link to Atmos in the description if you want to check it out or buy one. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more great videos. This video is not sponsored by Atmos, I just like them and I actually won this vape in a contest on Instagram that was sponsored by them around the time of the Olympics. As part of winning the contest, I got to choose the Forge Plus kit and they gave me a limited edition Olympic branded vape case that I'll also show you in the video. The Forge Plus has a uniquely designed wax consistency heating attachment and has a great battery. Uh, it has dual coil atomizers combining the power of titanium coils with ceramic rods to make great tasting clouds while adding in a huge amount of efficiency. In the box you will get a 950 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, a Forge Plus heating attachment, one dual coil ceramic titanium atomizer, another dual coil quartz titanium atomizer, a packing tool, an adapter, a USB cable, and a manual. And I'll talk about the adapter in a second. The Forge Plus is also very compact and it seems to be very durable. It's coated with some kind of heat resistant coating and has a splash prevention mouthpiece so your dabs stay securely inside the chamber as you vape. One of the cool things about this vape is it also comes with an adjustable airflow which allows you to fine tune the amount of air moving through the vape making draws bigger or more flavorful. The Forge Plus is relatively easy to disassemble for cleaning and comes with both a dual coil ceramic titanium atomizer and a dual coil quartz titanium atomizer. So it gives you the choice of flavors for the lack of a better expression. The battery on this thing lasts a decent amount of time and charges really quickly, but the one drawback to this kit is that the charging cable that comes with it is really, well, there's no better way to put it, it's really cheap. Fortunately, you can use any old micro USB cable you might have around and just toss this one in the drawer as a backup in case you can't find your others. To use the Forge Plus kit, you load your product into the chamber as you would any other vape, and then you press the power button five times quickly. That will turn on the vape. The light will flash three times to let you know that it is unlocked. You have to unlock and lock the button. It prevents accidental activations while it's in your pocket. Then to take a draw, press and hold the power button and inhale slowly. To maintain peak performance, the Forge has a 15 second maximum puff duration. So if you hold the button more than 15 seconds and take a hit, at 16 seconds, the button will flash five times and stop the heating element. This is so it won't overheat, of course, and a 15 second draw is still a very decent draw. I can't recommend this vape enough. Really good flavor, airflow control, decent battery. Uh, the fact that it comes with both a ceramic and a quartz atomizer is great. And one other thing that should be mentioned is that it comes with a male to female adapter. So you can use standard female cartridges such as the Optimus, Pike, and RT attachments on their i30, i50, i50TCJ, and other box mods. The male to female sits flush with the i-series batteries and is easy to attach and detach whenever needed. One last thing to note is that Atmos has a five-year warranty for all of their vapes. You just have to go and register your vape on the website. So go ahead, check out the link, see what you think. If you're in the market for, you know, a uh, vape of this kind, not for beginners, um, this may be one you want to put on your list. It's not too expensive and works awesome. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more great videos.